Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the Aqualung Explorer 2 roller bag. So this is a big roller bag. This is about 124 liters in uh, sort of internal volume. So this is perfect for a long dive vacation. You can fit all of your stuff. You could probably fit two uh, sort of amounts of kit inside of it. There is plenty of space, separate sections as well. You've got a section for your fins, so you can start to separate and organize your stuff. Tough material as well. This one is quite a bright flamboyant color so you can identify it when it's going around the, uh, the carousel. Let's take a closer look. So this is how it arrives um, in a big plastic bag but hey what are you going to do? It, it, you need something to protect it, stop it getting um, sort of scuffed up. But um, other than that it just seems to be the uh, the bag itself. So yeah, let's, let's take a closer look all over the bag. So yeah, as I said earlier, 124 liters, so plenty of space inside of it. Uh, as an overall weight, it weighs about four and a half kilos, which is about nine and a half pounds. So it's not ridiculously heavy, um, but it is kind of fair uh, sort of level playing field for most other uh, sort of roller bags, but tough materials as well. So I feel like this could actually stand up to baggage handlers. And yeah, because it comes in a variety of different colors as well you can personalize it and you can really identify it whether it's uh, sort of yours or not so starting off uh, let's start on the sides so the side facing you and on my side as well you actually have a zippered section which is long and thin and uh, goes down this side. They're for your fins. So instead of having to muddle them in with the rest of your gear, you can actually have them in their own separate little section. That gives a bit of strength and uh, protection to the sides of the bags, because on the underside, it's nice and protected because it's got that extended rail. But on the sides, it's normally quite soft. So a lot of divers put their fins on the sides, acts as a bit of uh, sort of protection on the sides from baggage handlers and general traveling. So you actually have separate sections and you could fit pretty much any uh, fins barring uh, like long free diving fins. Uh, you should be able to fit most fins inside of those. Just above it, you have this uh, sort of daisy chain Molly style uh, or Molly-esque kind of attachment points. So you can clip things off onto it. If you're on the go, you just need to clip it on quickly. You've got plenty of attachment points around the sides. All of the corners have these reinforced rubberized sections. So uh, it just protects that corner, which is usually uh, quite a high wear and tear area, uh, especially during travel. And you've got that down at the bottom as well at the bottom itself. So you, this is a roller bag, as the name suggests, decent chunky wheels. So if you're going a little bit off-road as well, um, they feel pretty strong. Uh, there's no real sort of movement or give. And that corner is pretty rigid. You do have a bit of flex in it, so it will kind of compress down, but it is kind of solid. So it's gonna protect your gear on the inside and the underside as well is rigid. You've got like a, a section of plastic along the bottom. So that's protecting things from penetrating through and you get these chunky rails as well. So it's protecting your stuff inside and the bag isn't gonna bend. You also have a grab handle or something to grab hold of. So if you need to lug it in and sort of throw it into a pickup or something, you've got that grab handle, but that also acts to help stand it up all by itself um, when you're not uh, sort of holding onto it. <clears throat> At the top of the bag, grab handle, slightly padded as well, and that's kind of squared off, which is a little bit different, but nice and strong webbing handle. And of course you have a traditional telescopic handle, so you can wheel it around the airport. Uh, on the close side is very much the same as the side that you've already seen. But along the top, <clears throat> you have a small secret zippered pocket, uh, and that's just a flat pocket that covers the, uh, the entire lid, just so quick access, basically. It's not watertight. Um, I'm not sure if, actually it is PVC coated, this material, so it'll resist rain, but of course the, uh, the zippers aren't waterproof, so um, too much and it is gonna start to uh, sort of seep through. But for quick access, just to throw some bits and bobs, documents and things, you can throw it in there and keep them organized and quick access. The main compartment has a double zipper and you can padlock those together. Opening that up. And then on the inside, you have this mesh panel at the top with a zipper. So you can separate stuff and keep that inside of there. 
On the inside is just like any other roller bag, to be honest. Uh, you have those little compression straps down at the bottom. You get the rails that are kind of protected by this section of material. You can zipper that open to uh, sort of start to separate and fix things on the inside. But otherwise, it is just a big open um, uh, sort of shell, something to uh, sort of keep your gear inside. Um, but yeah, overall, I like it. Uh, it's a nice tough bag roller bag sensible size it's not ridiculously big so you're going to struggle to um, sort of carry it but it's big enough that you'll be able to fit your own gear including bcd and a wetsuit regulators fins all that kind of stuff you could easily get that inside along with your clothes and toiletries as well decent sensible size bag and that's the aqualung explorer 2 roller bag decent size bag you easily be able to fit a whole week's worth of uh, sort of diving equipment and your, uh, your clothing and stuff inside of it sensible size not ridiculously heavy it's what four and a half kilos nine and a half pounds not too bad and um, yeah the material itself is tough and yeah pvc reinforced so it's going to help keep uh, all your wet stuff contained it might drip through some of the seams but for the most part it's going to keep it pretty well contained or if you're going onto a boat and it's raining or there's spray it's going to keep your stuff relatively dry on the inside some water will still get in but it's not really what the bag's made for it's just a little additional benefit to you there's going to be more information on our website simplyscuba.com if you want to find out this bag and buy it from simply scuba you can click on the link down in the description below thank you for watching and of course safe diving.